it's a euphoric atmosphere under this tent as scores gathered on the lush greenery here at the residency of the uk high commissioner to ghana to observe the coronation of king charles iii seven long decades after the coronation of her majesty queen elizabeth ii your majesty are you willing to make subscribe and declare to the statutory accession declaration oath i am willing this is a gathering of persons from all walks of life including country diplomats captains of industry africans from the diaspora and many others several miles away from westminster abbey these people have gathered here in accra to witness the beautiful culture of the british people for many this may be an event of a lifetime king have his coronation i didn't think i'd see that in my lifetime and i grew up with the you know the late queen and so it's obviously i have to change my mindset that we have a king now but it's fantastic that you've been able to put this on today among the people gathered here is the amwa family who live in ghana and england 84 year old lawrence amwa is full of admiration as he shares memories of his two encounters with the king. Uh, when the queen and the king visited Ghana in the early 60s, I had the privilege of being with them in the lift. Myself, the queen, and Prince Philip, and Kwame Nkrumah, and myself were in the lift at Black Star Square. Yeah, so I was their lift attendant. I installed the lift. And I have to be there when it's working so that the king of UK will not experience anything very, well, something that is not expected. So I had to be there. And I was in the lift with them. But I wasn't lucky. I did not appear in any publications because of security. Yeah, they didn't even see me. And I spoke with them. I spoke with the queen and the king when he was in Luton, as I said earlier, about six months ago. And uh, we had a lovely time. His wife and daughter could not hide their excitement. To see him today being crowned as king, I am so overjoyed. I even made a comment to a friend. I said, oh, I'm glad this is in my time. So there's something I can talk about one day. So even when he came on, I said, oh, daddy, look, he's shaking, he's shaking, because it's a big, a big, big momentum for him. We are so happy for him, and we are glad he has been crowned king, and we have witnessed this. It's quite exciting because, you know, you don't get to see this very often. Um, I don't think I was around when the queen was getting crowned, um, but it's fantastic to see Charles in particular getting crowned. Um, because of history in England and everything, it's good to be part of it. Yeah, it's great. Um, I pray for wisdom, absolute wisdom, because this is this day and age he would absolutely definitely need um, a lot of wisdom, patience and calm to, to lead the nation. For others, this is one of the most epic moment of a lifetime. I have actually been seeing videos of the first one, Queen Elizabeth. This is my first time I'm seeing this and it's just beautiful to behold. Yeah. I actually think seeing Rishi read the scriptures, Rishi Sunak, um, the UK Prime Minister, because it's just such a bridging of religion, so many different faiths in one room, but actually he was reading words that said there is only one God, that actually he created all things. And to hear that kind of confession come from the Prime Minister, was powerful yeah I just pray that the Lord would keep him and bless him and see him through this journey I'm so happy to see that Prince Harry has actually come today and I hope that the family can unite as a whole family because what it is is togetherness is foreverness but I'm excited today to see most importantly the King the Queen and also Prince Harry being present if you have been alive to see this then you've been part of history indeed long live the King James Kusiavijis report read to you.